Welcome to the channel, everyone. Uh, I'm Robin Elliott, better known as Cayman Spider here on YouTube. Uh, you can see name right there. Um, I have a brand new product to introduce. Um, it's for the 2010 to 2015 Gen 5 Camaro. Uh, this is a brand new digital cluster. It's not like the one that I'm previously selling. Uh, this is a completely different design. Uh, this has a wireless Apple CarPlay. It's got a front camera or a, yeah, front camera and a right camera you can mount in your mirror. Um, so it does have uh, some pretty neat options. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. And this is from um, XSTAR. Now this company, XSTAR, uh, reached out to me. Uh, apparently they saw that I was selling the Camaro clusters and everything from ACAR, ACAR Dash. So, um, and they uh, informed me that they come up with a kind of a different concept, different design. Uh, so I, it's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. So <clears throat> show you everything that it comes. Now these are little rubber grommets and these are going to be for the um, the side uh, view, the right view mirror uh, camera and put those aside. Those, they're just grommets so it makes it waterproof. Uh, this is going to be your uh, camera for the right uh, for the right camera. So what this is and I believe I'm going to be doing some testing on this but I believe uh, so when you change lanes uh, you're going to have a, a view on the on the right side um, it's just it's just uh, one extra camera I assume maybe you could have this for a rear camera but uh, uh, I think it's designed for uh, the going in actually in into the mirror and everything so uh, it does give you a uh, little hole saw uh, to drill into your mirror it's going to be super easy to do uh, you really can't screw it up the mirrors themselves if you, you know, if you do screw it up, you're out like 50 bucks because they're all over eBay. You could <clears throat> always, re but it, it's pretty foolproof. You just kind of find the location. There's no right or wrong location in the mirror on the, on the bottom side. And you drill a hole and then you just simply mount this in there. Um, and then you'll be able to move it and turn it and uh, <clears throat> determine the angle and everything. Uh, this is going to be for the front cam, the harness for the front cam. Uh, this is the harness for the right cam. Let's see, we'll get to that. Let's see, this must be just a little adapter, uh, an extension of some sort right here. Um, now this is the front cam, which is going to be really nice. It's going to be, kind of has a neat little angle. We'll find out where we're going to mount it on the front of the car. Um, also, um, I got to thinking you could probably even use this, um, like mount it inside some somehow and and do it kind of like a dash cam uh, so it'll show on your on your cluster but that's the front cam so that's going to be kind of neat uh, this is the harness that plugs into the back of the cluster and then of course uh, you have your silver cluster and i assume uh, you can paint this any color you want, or um, there might be some different options. And I'm sure there's going to be a carbon fiber, but um, I haven't confirmed that yet. So right now it's just a silver one, but like I say, there could be a carbon fiber one for it uh, coming out very soon. So most of them are silver. I sell that's the majority of the ones that I sell are silver. Um, and then you have the actual cluster itself. So. Oh, this is the USB. This is for doing updates and stuff, uh, just like the other cluster. You'll plug that into the back, and you'll be able to do updates. So, so here it is. Here's the. Uh, that's this is the top. So that it looks just just like the other one, and then of course the uh, the cover's going to go on here, like so. So it's very. So get it positioned right, so it'll go like that. So it mounts up pretty nice. And then the back of it, uh, here's your update, your cams and your main harness. This is all plug and play, so it's uh, there's no splicing or nothing. It's all going to be pretty simple. So uh, that's that. That's the actual unboxing of the new cluster. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get it installed. Now, you could watch my other videos on how to do the installation. The only thing different 
is you're going to be running a, a front cam and a right cam. And I'll have to find out where we're going to go through the firewall and stuff and where we're going to uh, run those and everything. But really, it's, it's going to be pretty simple, uh, just popping the old one out, putting this one in, plugging it in. And then we'll kind of go through all the features and everything and, and take a look at it and see what it's all about. Okay, I apologize for the um, sound difference here. I, I lost audio for just a little bit. But um, so um, what I did, I ran... Uh, all the uh, lines down, so the camera lines and also the um, USB line uh, for the updates. Um, I went straight down, so they're in the footwell, and they tuck up in there very nicely. Now, all, <clears throat> right now, I'm not running the cameras. Um, so, um, so how you get this in, you want to go in uh, with the right side, kind of the cluster, put it in on the right side first. And then uh, the left side will go in. So you kind of go in at an angle uh, when you put it in. I, I showed that on my other video on how to get it in. It's not too difficult. You, you can't go straight in. You have to do it. But there, here's where I'm running my um, cables down below. Um, I will run the um, cameras at a later date. Um, I, I just don't have the time to do that right now. So <clears throat> one nice thing about this unit, you could do that. You could just run the cables down and hide them for now. Um, and then uh, finish it later if you'd like to, because this is totally optional. You could you could shut off. You could just have the front cam, um, or you could just have the right cam, or you could have both of them, or you could just have both of them shut off and not even use them. So uh, it's 100% optional. But I'd go ahead and at least run the cables, uh, so you have that option in the future. Uh, if you, I think it's really cool that you could um, uh, have a front cam and everything, and and the um, and a blind spot cam uh, when you turn the right signal on. So I think that's really, really cool. So, um, <clears throat> like I say, I'm going to do that at another time, uh, but I will demo it. I'll show you how it all works and everything. And um, it does have a screen protector on it, as you'll see. And in fact, I peeled that one off, and I think there's a second screen protector under it. I'm leaving it on for now, but I will... Uh, I will peel it off. So if you see a little bubble or two in there, that's just a screen protector uh, and, and they're double protected. So uh, it's very easy to get in uh, four screws. Um, I like I say, it, it, it's very easy. Now here it is with the trim on. <clears throat> so to do the trim is um, you start from the top and you kind of fit the top and then work the sides down and then and then pop it in. And you just kind of kind of smack it from the top and it'll snap into place. And then you push in the bottom in it and it uh, snaps into place. So you see how I, that's how I kind of did it. I just kind of whacked it a little bit there. And then um, I put the uh, bottom piece in, it snaps right in, and you're done. That's that's all it is, and it's finished. So it uh, fits very nice. The trim fits really, really good. And like I say, there's uh, two film protectors on there. Most time they come with one, but I think there's, I was noticing today that there's a second one under there too. So uh, we have it all mounted. I'm going to fire it up for you guys now. Um, as I suspected, there was a second um, cover on here. So you'll want to remove that. Um, you'll have to look really close to see if there's one. It should be, um, there, there's an anti-glare on there. So if you have this, it's going to glare. But uh, without it, it's going to uh, not glare in the sun and everything. So uh, very well could be two protectors when you get it. So just kind of be aware of that. going to fire it up now. Show you what the boot up and there it is. So when it boots up, this is what it's going to look like depending on the screen that you have. Now, um, there is going to be an option to remove this uh, transformer head. So um, It'll be in the settings and stuff, and I will get that eventually. I'll do a little more of a detailed review. This is going to be a kind of a quick overview, but here it is. Um, I think it looks phenomenal. Um, now, what I usually like to do is I usually run the real-time info, so that's what the screen is going to look like on the uh, most part. And <clears throat> just kind of give you a quick uh, so, um, look at what the... Um, the cameras do. Now, right now, 
I'm turning my right blinker on and you'll see that nothing's happening. So what I need to do is go into settings, go to general settings. We don't want the brightness, we want it clear down. We want that down. See, we want interconnection. Um, that's the car play. We want, sorry, we want the front view, right view. So we're going to go ahead and turn that one on and the right view on. Okay, so let's go back to, let's just put it back to real time info. Okay, so in this screen, when you turn the right signal on, uh, there it is. Now I just have it mocked up right now, but that's on the right side. Uh, the camera is crystal clear. Excellent camera. Uh, so as long as you have your right blinker on, it's going to show your uh, blind spot to your right. I think that is really awesome. So, and then um, I'll put it in drive. And when you put it in drive, once again, I have this mocked up, so it's kind of aimed a little high. Uh, when it's mocked up, uh, or excuse me, when it's um, in drive, it stays on for about five seconds and then shuts off. And I think there's going to be a, there's a setting in there that you can make it go on for a little longer um, if you would like to. So let's go to um, settings and let's do... Let's do themes. Let's find the themes, the style. Um, so I can show you all three styles. So this is um, this style here is called the classic. Uh, this is your basic twin gauges. And then you have your uh, sport, which is going to give you kind of, it looks like a Lamborghini Aventador. Um, and then so it's got your uh, miles per hour down here, odometer, um, all your dummy lights are above. Um, and then like say you could go back out and all your information here if you like your real-time info or your trip or your TPMS or anything like that. Now um, you could change the color over here of the car. I have it set to black just so it's kind of um, inconspicuous. So and, and it, it does have the door radar so when you open up the door it shows uh, which door. It'll show the trunk, the hood, and either door so that all works so that's um, that's the sport style now let's go ahead and turn the right turn signal on now when you do it on sport it shows the entire screen and it moves um, the speedometer and the tack and everything down to the bottom which is really really cool okay so we'll go ahead and put it in drive and once again, it'll show the entire uh, screen in front of you, so which is cool. So basically, you could you can mount this so you kind of have an idea of your um, of a curb and stuff pulling up to a curb, um, and so you could have it just so the nose and it's kind of a wide angle view, so it has a really good view on it. So let's go back to um, comfort mode, is what they call this. Um, I would call this a sport mode, but that's okay. Um, that they call it the comfort mode. Uh, once again, the uh, little dude is on the right, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, eliminate that because otherwise it's there all the time. So um, we'll go ahead and turn the right signal on, and it slides over and gives you a screen on the right. And then we'll put it in drive, and the same thing, it's going to slide over. And it's going to put the camera view right there. Put that in the park. So that's your that's your different styles. Um, uh, next, I'll show you the Apple CarPlay. So it's it's pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> what you do, you take your stock here. Sorry, it's kind of dark, and you push it up for two seconds. Now I let me let me connect my uh, the Apple CarPlay here, and and you'll see that it uh, um, it'll connect. And basically, where the camera was, um, you'll have your your maps from your Apple CarPlay. So let me go ahead and um, connect Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay is now connected. It was pretty easy. You just uh, connect the. Uh, Bluetooth and it connects and it you just follow the instructions on your phone. It's just like 
connected to any other. Now, I'm not an Apple guy, but uh, this is, uh, I'll turn it on there. Uh, and there's your Apple CarPlay. So you could use Siri to um, navigate and everything. Um, it's pretty cool. It gives you a full screen. And everything else is down below your speedometer, your tack, uh, fuel gauge, all your dummy gauges are on the side. So we'll go ahead and shut it off and let's go ahead and change it um, to a different style. See, we go to classic and then we'll turn on the, and that's what it looks like uh, in the classic. Kind of puts it to the center, which is really cool. Um, Let's see, we'll shut it off again. Let's go back to the comfort mode. And then we'll go ahead and turn on Apple CarPlay there. And it slides it over. I, li I like that really well too. So this is really cool. Um, the Apple CarPlay seems to be working well. Uh, like I say, I'm not an Apple uh, guy, so I don't know all the ins and outs of this. Um, I just know that um, it does work uh as far as your, uh, I think this is Google Maps, I assume, is what this is, um, or it's the Apple, I, I don't know. Um, have to learn a little bit more on how to change it and everything, uh, but uh, I think that's pretty cool. Just wanted to give a quick demo of the Apple CarPlay. Okay, so that's Apple CarPlay. Um, now I'm, I'm gonna learn more on how it all works and what all it does. I'm not an Apple guy, so it doesn't, you know, I, I don't know exactly how all it works. Um, they may be, I think, down the road doing Android Auto, but I have Android Auto on my head unit, so I really don't need um, that. Now, once it, you'll see I'm running uh, Agama here. Now, I could change this color to match the screen, which is really cool. Now, these are all set, uh, all these colors are, but I can change my uh, screen on the... Uh, head unit to match this so okay let's go let's go through all the um, settings and stuff first so in settings you have language of course and there's about every language you could think of uh, then you have your general settings uh, your daytime brightness so when I shut the let's see when I shut the bright see I want to I want that bright for daytime so that's what I'm gonna do for that and then when I turn the lights on it it'll dim so that's daytime brightness uh, unit system we run Imperial so it does do both so if you have in another country or in Canada or somewhere um, it will do um, both kilometers uh, or liters and all this and that Get back out of that. Uh, interconnection. That's going to be your Apple CarPlay. If you don't have Apple, Apple CarPlay, you can just simply shut it off. Um, and then, of course, your front view and right view cameras. I showed you that earlier. Here's your vehicle color where you could change your... So it has uh, black, yellow, looks like a white, silver, red blue and black again and they could add different colors and stuff on there so um, possibly in the future they may add a few more colors for us uh, over speed warning that's going to be of course if you're um, uh, if you want to put a speed limiter uh, as far as like you put it at 100 mile an hour so whenever you go over 100 mile an hour it's going to beep at you and let you know so that's that in the general settings. Factory settings, I don't have the code yet. I will do an update on that when I get that. Uh, version, protocol upgrade. Uh, that's for, well, I guess upgrading super simple. You just stick a USB and you don't even have to go into nothing. It, it, it all automatically updates when you stick the USB in. So, okay, uh, this is kind of some uh, real important stuff here. You have your trip. So you have your odometer, which uh, is kind of doubled up because you have your odometer down there. Um, you have distance, distance till empty. Now that calculates on uh, your mile per gallon and how much gas you have left in your tank. Um, and then you have trip A, and that kind of, I think, keeps track of all the time 
uh, and then trip B will reset. Every time you start your car, it resets to zero. Uh, your travel time, and then average fuel. So that, I think once you get going, it says three miles per gallon, but once you get going, and uh, it'll, it'll say, um, it'll start averaging your fuel, your miles per gallon, and then of course your average speed on your trip. So we'll get out of that. Real-time info, I really like the real-time info. Uh, so up top you have battery voltage, you have oil pressure, oil temp, um, automatic transmission oil temp, coolant temp, and then your oil life. So um, uh, for oil changes and stuff, you, have, you could have it in there. Now I, I do have the gauges down here, uh, but it is nice to have the real-time that re reads right off the um, ECU. So I really like having the coolant temp um, even though we have the oil temp and we have all that stuff down here, um, I do like, I guess, um, it doesn't have the oil temp, but it has the, oh yes it does, it does have oil temp, trans temp, and everything down below, but it's nice to have it right up here. I like the coolant temp, being able to read the coolant temp rather than just a gauge, I do really, really like that. So, and also, um, I guess while we're here, uh, when you put it in drive and then you put it in uh, sport mode and then you put it in uh, S1, S2, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to tell you your thing. Um, now I'll have to find out on the manual. Um, it, I think there will probably be a code where you set it to where you don't have the park and all that stuff so that won't interfere into that. So, so back out of real time info. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, you have your, this is a very important. Then you have your TPMS. Uh, so I am, you could have your TPMS on all the time if you'd like to. Um, and they all, they're all reading correct. When one gets low, it'll, it'll uh, show red on the tire. So that's really nice. And it shows in PSI correctly. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I could think of right off the top. Now there's going to be tweaks and improvements on here and I'm, I'm still learning so I'm going to learn more. Uh, you have your uh, uh, cruise control down there and all your warning lights are here. Every single warning light that your uh, car has uh, from the factory is on here so um, it, every, every, everything works and every, everything's good. So trying to think if there's anything else. I'm Like I say, I'm getting ready to go on a road trip, so I'm going to fully test this, and then I'll probably learn more things about it and then uh, report back. But uh, this is a really, really cool um, design. Uh, it, it's uh, having the cameras and stuff. Uh, I, I love these gauges right here. This is my favorite, these twin gauges right here. They're really, really good-looking gauges. Um, so I, I really, really like them. Um, I do like the, uh, they call it the comfort mode, comfort one. I do like the, yeah, it's kind of, kind of like a Ferrari, I guess is what it is. Um, but that's, that's kind of cool. Um, and then the sport <laughs> is, is pretty cool because it represents a Lamborghini, uh, even the Lamborghini Urus and everything, Urus, I guess. Uh, they, they all have the same thing here, so. Okay, well. Um, if you have any questions at all, these are going to be on pre-order. Uh, they will probably be ready, uh, be shipping towards the end of this month or the 1st of March. So if you want one, you, you could order one from my website. I'll have them on there and ready to go. You could kind of get in line. Uh, my website is www.elliotmotorsports.biz. I'll have links below. And then I also, um, my email is kmaspider at gmail.com. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything, go ahead and let me know. But uh, this is pretty cool. This is uh, the new X-Star uh, Gen 5 Camaro 2010 through 2015 uh, instrument cluster uh, with cameras. So pretty cool. And Apple CarPlay. So you could have your, you could have your, um, your maps. It's the entire screen up there. And then you, and then you'll have everything down below as far as your speedometer and everything goes. And uh, enjoy your radio. So, okay, thanks so much.